so far, financing the current account deficit has not been a problem. Capital flows have been adequate to cover the current account uh, deficit. Um, in um, 2012-13, uh, we had sufficient capital flows into the, into the uh, economy, uh, which could cover the current account uh, deficit. Of course, capital flows over the year may be adequate, but they may not necessarily come always um, at the same pace. And therefore, there could be periods in which there are imbalances between the capital flows and the current account deficit, and that is when the pressure develops on the, on the currency. In 2012-13, net FDI inflow was $18 billion. That is when I say net, that is capital inflow, inflow into the country and the outbound capital flows, that is 26 minus 8, uh, gives you $18 billion. The FII inflows were $24 billion. Loan was $30 billion. And banking capital was $24 billion. Coming to 2013-14, we expect the FDI inflows net to increase to $24 billion. That is 36 inbound, less $12 billion outbound, giving you $24 billion. FII at $18 billion. Loans of various type at $36 billion and banking capital at $22 billion. As I said, capital flows are important at this particular point. Uh, we have a high current account deficit, and therefore uh, we should ensure uh, that uh, the uh, capital flows are adequate to cover the, the current account uh, deficit. Uh, we should not decry capital flows. Uh, we need to take such actions as are necessary in order to encourage uh, the capital inflows.